Welcome to Track Time by Race Grooves. I decided to try the new Hot Wheels boosters. Well, they were introduced maybe late 2016 or during 2017. Thought I'd try them out. These are different. Not only are the boosters different, the battery compartment's different too. They hold 4D batteries and it's remote. The boosters, they aren't normal side boosters. They boost the cars on the top side. I was able to get quite a bit of track packed in this narrow space. It's only 24 inches wide and it's 10 feet long. Here's the cars that I'm using for today's track time performance. These cars came from a Hot Wheels case unboxing on my Race Grooves YouTube channel. We never know what kinds of cars are going to work on different types of track layouts and that's what track time is all about. The Hot Wheels case unboxing videos are on my Race Grooves YouTube channel and track time will be here on the official track time channel. Here we go, boosters on. Up first, let's try the 16 Camaro SS. I'm gonna give each car a few chances. You might have used this car in the Forza Motorsports game. Very nice, into the winner's circle. Up next is Ferrodox. It's kind of low. I wonder if that's gonna affect how well the booster can grab the top side. Off the track. Two for two. Here comes the Tesla Model S. The package said it was a track star. Let's find out. The package was correct. Here comes Night Shifter. Second chance. Hello. Woohoo! I think I'm, I don't know if I have enough room. I'm doing 28 cars. 70 Ford Escort RS 1600. Sounded like he didn't get a very good boost. He does okay in regular boosters, but not these type of boosters. Last chance. That's it. Usually when cars fail, I put them next to the track where they failed, but I don't have a whole lot of room. Mm, let's say if he failed by this booster, let me line them up. We'll put a We'll put them right here. Uh, I guess that's what I'll do. Here comes Bad Ratitude. He's an open wheeler. He's one that I normally wouldn't want to put through regular boosters because it might bend the wheels and axles. But this time, hey, we're boosting the roof. Maybe he's all right. Maybe not. Second chance. Boink. When they hit the curves like that, I got to squeeze the track back together. Last chance. Dun -dun, dun -dun -dun. Now it's time for the BMW Z4M Motorsport. It might not do well in the loose because it has that splitter in the front. Yo! Second chance. Uh-oh, let me scoot this over. It might not be straight. It's coming off the track too soon. That looks better. Last chance. So it did okay in the booster, but just as I suspected, it was gonna have problems in the loops. This was a brand new model in 2016, Bone Speeder. Look at this high wing in the back. I wonder if that's gonna, when the booster's grabbing the top, it comes up here. I don't know, let's see. 
Yep. It's definitely not coming out of the booster at high speed. Again. Yeah, it's coming out of the booster all whack. I think we have our first fail. One of the chances he got this far, so that's, that's where he will be marked. F1 racer. I don't know. It might slide right under the booster. It's so low. <laughs> the booster barely even grabbed him. Let me give him a big head start. I think he's going right under the booster. Last chance. Yeah, it barely grabs. You know what that means, though? Uh, three chances. You only worked in the first booster. That's it. Here comes voltage spike. It's one of those models to where you can adjust the splitter. This one's a double adjuster. You can adjust the front and the rear. Oh, it's doing so well. Didn't quite make it to the fourth booster. By the way, in case you didn't know, I left the splitters in the upwards position because it's trying to do loops. There you go, another one into the winner's circle. I have a lot more cars to do right after this break. Let's try the Dark Knight Batmobile. It has nice smooth wheels in the front, but it has bumpy wheels in the back that might affect its performance. It was going so fast it wiped out in the first curve. This time I'm just gonna let it roll down. I'm not gonna give it much of a push. Last chance. Off the track. You know he might make it. We'll give him one more chance. Off the track again. There's your Batmobile, but when we back up and look at the last booster to mark the spot, that's the booster right there. So we will put uh, the Batmobile right there. Aston Martin V8 Vantage. Set, go! Too much speed going around that last U-turn. The track looks okay on this side, but we'll give it a little pinch just in case. Over on this side, I do notice a little lip, so we need to flare. Let me put the camera down. I need to flare the outside, so this way when the car comes around, it doesn't nick the edge of the track. Let's go. Okay, I hear you crying. Come on. Ta-da! Honda Odyssey. It's kind of tall. I don't know. Let's see how it does in the booster. Uh-oh. I got stuck. It might not work in the booster. Well, not a track car for these boosters. Here comes Gazella GT. Good enough. Let's go ahead and squeeze. Come on, squeeze. We're getting a lot of cars in the winter circle today. Here comes two-timer. It's a track car, but it's really long. Sometimes curves give it a problem. Let's see how these topside boosters do. Wow, 
Wow, I flipped him upside down. When you think how long he is, that was quite a flip. Two times, a double flip. As Two Timer meditates and prepares for the Olympic record, going for a triple flip. Two Timer has the world record triple flip and a belly flop. There's another car that's kind of long, the 76 Greenwood Corvette, but it's not a track car anyways. It has that long, low front end. That might be good for real racing, but I don't know about the uh, Hot Wheels track racing. Ah, uh, see, loops, loops are gonna be a problem for the Corvette. Last chance. Let's see, you made it to this uh, booster, so there is your mark with the other four cars. Here comes Z-Rod in its gold shiny chrome, part of the Super Chrome series. The booster, the booster barely grabbed the roof. Second chance, I know it's going to need more of a push. Last chance. I bet that nobody thought that Z-Rod would be joining this group of cars. Here comes the Honda Racer. Woo! Goes flying around that curve. Let's go ahead and pinch and flare while I'm here. Uh, wrong. Pinch this side. Flare this side. It's easier when you don't have a camera in your hand. All right. Are you ready, Honda? Go. Oh, doing pretty good. Last chance. We'll do one more, maybe because of that pinch and flare issue. Go. Okay. Sorry, that was it. You crashed right there, previous booster. Uh, it's kind of crowded. I'll put them on the inside this time. Here comes the SRT Viper GTS-R. It was featured in the video game Need for Speed. It has this wing in the back. I don't know. That was a pretty good run. Might make it. Last chance. Oh, yeah. Come on in. We got room for you. I got a lot of blue cars over here. 2005 Ford Mustang. It's another car with a movable splitter. We'll put it in the up position for the loops. Hmm, not a whole lot of grip in that booster. Second chance. Too much grip. Last chance. That's it. Eight cars left, including Jet Threat 4.0, Skate Brigade, and the Night Burner, which was a treasure hunt. Let's go ahead and do that treasure hunt first. Night Burner up on the wing. You can see it had the Circle Flame logo. That signifies it was the treasure hunt of that case assortment. By the way, if you blow in this part right here, you can make that turbine inside spin around. It doesn't whistle, but it does spin around. How about a bigger push this time? Uh, 
Last chance. <laughs> Come on, Bubba. You get to join the rest of this crowd that's having problems at that point. Here comes Tigre in gold chrome. It's a track star. Let's see how it does on this track. Uh oh. I knew it. I barely heard it go through the booster. That means it might be too low. Last chance. I can give you a bigger push here, but after that, you're on your own. And uh, that's about it. 72 Ford Grand Torino Sport. Might be hard to see, it's the same color as the track. It's pretty easy to see when you're on the gray carpet, or if you're upside down and I can see your black side. Last chance. Oh! Well, you took everybody by surprise, that's for sure. Subaru WRX STI. Let's get that Honda Odyssey. Couldn't fit in the boosters. Let's see. It's not as tall, so maybe, maybe it might do okay. Here we go. It got further. Uh oh. And last chance. That'll do it. You get to park next to the treasure hunt. Here comes Skate Brigade. You might have a version when it was called Skate Punk. Are you ready, dude? Well, that was a pretty good trick. Hey, you're going the wrong way. Hey, how, how's that happening? Come on, go, go. Oh, the dude, if you, uh, you know what? You're gonna have to come off. Let's see how the skateboard does by itself. That was a pretty good run. Very nice. Here comes Cloud Hunter. I don't know. Pretty low, except for his wings in the back. Hmm. I didn't hear anything, did you? I'll be quiet and we'll listen. It was just barely, you could barely even hear it touching the car. Last chance. Sorry, Cloud Gunner. I can't push you all the way around the track. You're with this group of cars. Didn't get very far. First booster, that was it. Hey, I just did Cloud Cutter, which is kind of like an airplane. Now we have Jet Threat 4.0. This is a cool car. It has moving features. You can open up these parts right here. I'll open up uh, all the way at the end of the track because sometimes, sometimes it's hard to get them uh, back into position. Oh, that did not sound good. Everything looks okay. And remember the booster is grabbing the top, so that means it's grabbing this plastic part, with, which isn't much grip. And then it only has this little thing up here. Not a lot of surface to grab and propel the car down the track. As you can tell, that little part, that's just not enough. And the last car, the 69 Ford Torino Talladega. Uh-oh. Second chance, let me give him a push. It's just not gonna be enough. Last chance. Oh. 
Only a few models didn't make it out of the first booster, but at least it gives you an idea which cars can work in that type of booster. A lot of cars, uh, no loops, can't make it to the loop by the time they can't make it through the loop by the time they get there. There was a couple other cars along the way that did not make it, but we did. We were pretty successful. We did get a lot of cars to go all of the way. Thank you for watching this Track Time presentation on the Track Time channel. Have fun with your cars. Bye-bye.